Hello, welcome to the shave. Welcome to the weekend shave as it is. Welcome to Jim Will Shave. Thanks for joining me and I uh, hope you're all doing okay. I'm okay. Just in the middle of packing because I'm away on my travels again tomorrow. Not travels for fun, travels for work. Okay, shave for today, shave for today. Uh, my fourth purchase from Tops, Taylor of Old Bond Street, Peppermint Shaving Cream. And I won't show you what it's like inside. You've seen one, it's all, all, it's all the same consistency. Every tub is the same consistency that I know of. But uh, basically, you get a nice strong scent of uh, Mint Imperial. It's really nice, fresh. It's a bright Mint Imperial scent. It is it's really, really nice. Refreshing, re refreshing. I don't know whether you could call it a summer scent, winter scent, I don't know, anything. Also, new to the den. Uh, I've got a new blade. I don't know how new this blade is. I've never seen it before. I'm going to have to put the goggles on because I don't want to cut my old thingy wingies off. Right, the razor I'm using is going to be the Rockwell 6S. I haven't used it for a little while. That's going to be on plate number five. Plate number five. I'll try and do it all the way on plate five. Now the blade is Vidyot. Supermax, you see that? Video Supermax out of India. I do trust Indian blades a lot. Uh, here's the wrapper, and here is the blade. Now, it seems silly showing people blades, doesn't it? We all know what blades look like, but there it is. The Supermax feels quite thin, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Is it? It's not paper thin, there is thinner blades out there, but uh, that's what we're using today anyway. So I shall load that into my Rockwell. Top cap. Drop the blade on. Like so. Easy peasy. Plate number five. The five facing out towards you. You know you're on there. Like... So, plate number five, is it upside down? I don't know, I'm looking in the mirror. That's what we're on, plate number five. Little nylon washer, just to say wear and tear. I'm gonna steal and keep it looking pristine. Now this particular Rockwell 6S, you'll notice it's a strange color. And that's because, just checking the alignment, you know, you'll notice this particular Rockwell 6S is a, a strange color. That's because it's been plated by uh, John June. It was a bit of a, a prototype, really, when he got his equipment for plating. And uh, I offered my success as a, as a guinea pig. So that's what I'm using today. Rockwell success. I'll just show you the stand compared to the razor. So there's the stand, the original colour of the success. And there's the success beside it. Just to give you some idea, some idea there. Okay, let's get cracking. Now, this is a new practice of sorts because I'm, always, I'm sick of showing you dirty brushes. So, uh, I haven't lathered yet, but it's not going to take long to lather this. Uh, this is the Simpson T3 synthetic. Just going to wet her up. Give her a good shake and Lather it up. Oh man, that, that peppermint really, really is strong. I know recently we've heard about uh, UK soap manufacturers, artisans, etc. They're unable to uh, produce strongly scented soaps, but uh, Tobs always have. It's uh, there again, they've been around a long, long time, you know, so, uh, and they are by royal appointment, I suppose, so. I don't know what they do differently to uh, anybody else, but whatever they do, it works because really strong, really strong scents. I get at seven and a half, maybe higher. A little bit more water, and um, we're nearly there, guys. We're nearly there. That's how quick this cream is to uh, lower up. Yeah, so in the middle of packing at the moment, so I don't want to be too long. Same away for seven days tomorrow. Back down into South Wales, 
into the land of uh, Flash Boredom, Mr. G, Mr. G Shapes. So that's where I'm going tomorrow for the third time this summer. Well, I shouldn't say summer, but basically autumn now, aren't we? And one more dip should do it. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, so fresh, so bright. Men's Imperial. And I don't want to make too much of a mess in the den today, say, because I'm, I'm away tomorrow. And whilst I'm away, a friend of mine is coming down from Scotland to Sofa Surf. Sofa Surf? Sofa, sofa Surf. Oh my sofa. So uh, I don't really want to be leaving them any mess. Oh, it's burning into my lips this. It's, it's not like a mental feeling. There is a bit of a, a warming effect or cooling effect I should say on the skin. But it's a totally different experience to a menful soap. It says it's just like rubbing sweeties, sweet mint imperials all over the face. I could do this forever, but I won't. I'm too busy. But okay, so that's enough. After bristle, nicely softened now. Got a fairly heavy growth today. I don't know why. I just have. Okay, there we go. I'm making a mess already. All over my own shoes. Right. So, how are we all doing? What are we on now? Saturday, yeah. Yeah, I've been working today. So how's your weekend going so far? Oh, very nice. That blade's okay. A-okay up to now. Sig Solo, congratulations. Sig Solo. If you've not heard of Sig Solo, I think he's the only YouTuber in Greenland. And uh, a former pupil of his actually works in some sort of TV in Greenland, television, or documentary, journalist, that type of thing. I'm not too sure which, but they're a TV personality regardless. One of his ex-pupils and this TV personality Oh, listen to that. Let's mention Six Channel. So as a result, he's passed the 1K mark. He must be one of the fastest YouTubers to pass the 1K. So if you've never heard of him, check him out, Six Solo. It always makes you chuckle. I'm not sure he means to, but just, <laughs> God, that's noisy. Okay, it's smooth. I have got a lot of growth, did I? Yeah, so it feels smooth. Uh, it's not in the realms of feather or kai or any of those things for sharpness. We're sharp enough, certainly. We love using this razor. It's an old friend. And 
If anyone ever asks me what razor would I recommend for a, somebody getting into this way of shaving, I always recommend the 6S or the 6C. Why? Because obviously it's six razors in one. You'll always find something, one, one of these plates is going to suit you perfectly. And as you progress and you wish for something more aggressive, or you wish you get a little bit more adventurous, you do have the facility to do that. And if you get the 6C, you're not breaking the bank either. Quick feel around. Don't waste any of that slickness. And go back in with pass number two. Phenomenal sense, Tom's. Really are. You like strong scents? This is the way to go. And uh, not that expensive. Well, good value actually. You could do a lot worse than uh, sopping up on a load of tubs with tubs. Just sorry I haven't got the sandalwood yet. It's still time. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm running out of space on my flat here. I've uh, had a damn clear out the other day. I even threw from some soaps out. And uh, oh, I can feel that peppermint going into the skin now after the first pass. Now I'm not a mental type of guy, so I'm finding that quite strong. <laughs> Yeah, so I have this cleared out and I've actually, uh, I'm actually storing soaps in my uh, food cupboards now. So, I've got no room for food. Seriously. So, uh, looks like when I'm home, I'm going to be living on takeaways. Dial of pizza across. Yeah, so getting back to, that's very nice. That is really smooth on my second pass. Getting back to Sig is, uh, so as we know, the only traditional wet shaving YouTuber in Greenland. And all this shaving gear, yeah, so order it, order it mostly online, it has to be shipped over from UK, the States, anywhere, China, whatever. So now he's building this huge following over in Greenland. Maybe there's going to be a lot more Greenlandic people joining the, uh, the traditional white shaving world. Is that what you call them? Greenlandic? Works for me. Now this blade on the first pass, I was unsure. But I did have a heavy growth and I thought this might be a problem against the grain but this uh, across the grain pass has been a breeze. It really has. Done a cracking job on the old chinny wing chin, chin, chinny chin chin. Yeah, so Sig Solo, congratulations on being 
the traditional wet shaving ambassador of the Greenland. Again, I'm push, push for time again, it's, uh, and I've decided there's seven days in a way, I'm just going to take samples with me because uh, I bought a lot of soap samples that people have kindly given me, sent to me, and I've got more on the way, so uh, I'm going to have to concentrate more on using them. Couldn't use them last month because of UK soaps. As you noticed, I haven't stopped using UK soaps. After finding the uh, signature, this tops. Now, on the Rockwell success, my usual plates always used to be the play four, and uh, even I've stepped up now to the five. So just goes to show how our preferences change. That's why it's such a good idea to start with one of these. If you don't want the financial outlay, the six C. 45 quid, half the price. And as I'm going around here, I'm just feeling what's to pick up, what's left there for the third past. Past. And I can feel a bit there. And the grain goes across and down, like that. Everybody's grain, well, I think most people's grain on the neck. It's, uh, Alternates, it's not symmetrical. In fact, if you watch Mr. G Shaves, Gerant, even the uh, grain on his face is uh, skew with no symmetry whatsoever for him. Oh. This is some scent. Great stuff. Favourite scent in the top range so far? I'd say it still has to be the grapefruit. That's a great cracking morning scent. Go on, Jimmy, blow it enough. Get on the shave. Okay. Right, uh, I'm going to leave it on five, fill against the grain. So expect a wee bit or two on the moustache. Uh, Missed a bit there. Should have got that on the across the grain pass, really, but hey ho. Just puffing the cheeks out. Stretch the skin. An even working, an even working service. It's uh, I'm taking more strokes than I should do on this play five to get PBS. What's PBS? Baby, what's move? If you're new to this way of shaving, don't try and get BBS straight away. 
just set up for a presentable shave. Start chasing BBS before your skin's used to it. So when you get irritations, razor burn, well, it's gonna put you off. I can't help but chase BBS these days. I just don't feel right if I can feel any velcro after the shave. I can't rest. That was easy. Needs to glam on the tash. Both sides into the nostril. Sometimes you try and get to alter the, the shape of your lip to get everywhere. And that there should have been gone by now. Just going on residual here at the moment. Yeah, definitely, it's a very, very smooth blade. And it is doing a great job. But I'm uh, having to concentrate more. And the tops are just starting to dry out slightly on the neck here. Yeah, I'm for, for plate five. I'm working quite hard to uh, get the desired results. Was even on plate four with uh, an asset, for instance, I would have been done by now. So relax the neck for the hollows, so the blade can get in there. So feel around. It's a wee bit more up here. Now if you've seen me shave before, you know I'm usually BBS on that by now. And now I am. Let's rinse the razor. Quick cold rinse. See how long it takes to rinse off the uh, stickers. I think because I've just used a new blade, and well, I've just showed you a new blade, I'll do a quick Allen test. To see if I've got any stingy bits. And if I've got any stingy bits, that means uh, Two shakes of a lamb's tail. Wet the arm. No stingy bits on the face whatsoever. Go 
or someone in the neck, as I thought it would because I worked the neck hard. But not a lot, not a lot. Got a lot more sting on this side of the neck, but I usually do. Yes, there you have it. Shouldn't stick on off. Yes, so uh, the blade. It was okay. It was smooth. Uh, I don't think the longevity is going to be that good on it, to be fair. And I did have to do, take a lot more strokes, quite a bit more buffing than I normally would. But uh, the alum results, great, cracking. They managed to get against the grain on the moustache, no problem. It's created no weepers, no creepers. The skin feels good. Yeah, so the blade. Supermax from India. It's only a cheap blade. It's, uh, it did the job. Uh, did the job, did you hear my voice go? Did the job. Yeah, it did the job, but uh, not as quickly as I would have liked. But uh, yeah, that is a good beginner's blade, I would say. Okay, I've got nothing minty in the way of aftershave and as I'm not going out anywhere I'm just going to use the aloe vera and witch hazel which I mixed myself I'll do the dome because I've just shaved the head as well quite a pleasant scent on the uh, tea tree a lot of people don't like it but it soon dissipates and it just puts some goodness into your skin. And there we have it. So, uh, the customary soap for today. Taylor of Old Bond Street. Peppermint shaving cream. Blade for today. Brand new to the den. My very first use. Supermax. Hey, I wasn't disappointed in it. It's, uh, the results are really, really nice. I say, well, I doubt the longevity and yeah, it's mild, but it, got, it went against the grain under that nose, no problem whatsoever. And uh, I did have to do a lot more buffing than I would usually, considering I was on play five also. And I was the razor, it was a Rockwell, success. Plate number five, as you saw. And to finish off, it was the uh, tea tree with Jaisal, my own mix. Okay, enjoy the rest of your weekend, fellas. Have a great Sunday, have a great Sunday lunch. Take care, I'll see you all next time. See you further down the line. Bye bye.